everyone. Most of y'all have been asking me questions on how often should the fresh water and salt water pools be changed and why is it important to always keep them clean. I'm Jenny Velasquez and you're watching Tetra 3 and E56. conducting an experiment. I would be testing both the salt and fresh water for ammonia levels. Ammonia is what will slowly build up in the water over time as substrate food particles and fecal matter get kicked into the water. Ammonia can be very fatal to your crabs if the water has not been changed and the pools have not been cleaned, as it can burn the crabs gills and slowly over time can kill them. Something goes same thing goes for the aquatic species such as fish and other aquatic crabs and stream keeping. Some of the most important is that you must keep your hermit crabs pools at all times. Keep them clean. So here are my supplies. I got two water bottles here. One is with clean fresh water and the other is with with, with clean salt water. Which I would be testing them first. There in these bottles right here. And I also have the supplies for the salt and fresh water ammonia test kit. Gun tents in the kit are two color cards one for testing the fresh water and the other for testing the salt water. Evolve for testing the water samples and two bottles of drops one for the salt water and the other for the fresh water. And also the instructions on how to test. You must read the instructions if you're going to do this the right way. So here are the instructions right here. These are the two color cards. These are the two drops. This drop right here goes for this color card. This drop going right here goes for this color card. So one of the color cards is for the fresh water. The other is for the salt water. And this is the vial that you're going to put the water in. And that's how you're going to test. So this you're going to put the water in there and you're gonna have it filled up in this to this fill line right here so in the course of three days I will be sampling and testing both the salt water and fresh water in the current hat showing you the proof that ammonia levels can build up over that time so here's my fresh water the tube of fresh water right here and try and match it with the color card it is a yellow. The what what the colors mean, um, if it goes all the way down, if the color is really green, that means there's very heavy levels of um ammonia. So right now, this is the fresh water tube and it is a bright yellow. This is how you're supposed to have your water stay. So, so this is a tube of the fresh water that I made from the clean batch. Just showing you an example that it, this is a clean batch and it has zero um, ammonia in it. So now it's re if, it's, if it's a bright yellow, it reads zero ppm. This reads. It's supposed to match with this color right here so this shows you that it's that it's a clean it's clean water and it doesn't have any ammonia in it so here's my salt water in the test vial right here and also this has 
the bright yellow color, which also says that there it doesn't contain no ammonia. And this is going to be the first day of my Kermadat sampling of um, the the um, ammonia test. Um, so. First, what I'm going to be doing is the back pool. The back pool contains the salt water, and the front pool contains the fresh water. So here I have the fresh water. As you can see, the color, the color compare the color of the the sample on the tube compares with. 0 0.25 Z ppm um, stands for parts per milliliter so it's still on the good zone this is like um this third day that I, I think as long as far as I can remember but my crabs haven't really been using the pool so it's good that it's still at this level right here But you don't want your levels to get too high. You don't want it to go um, below this 0 0.25 line. Because then over, gradually over time as your crabs get in contact with the water, um, ammonia builds up. Ammonia builds up with the bacteria that gets harbored in there. And when you get the food, when you get the food in a fickle manner in the pool and stuff, that's how it builds up. Alright, so next I'm going to be doing the salt water. So here's the salt water. The color in the tube is in is about. It's very surprising because it's still in the mid in between the zero mark and the zero point twenty mark, five mark. But yeah, it's about zero point twenty five. How about the same as salt fresh water? So that also proves that also ammonia builds up in your salt water as well. But yeah, you don't want your ammonia levels to go below the 25 mark on this card. And higher than, than what it is right now. So here's the proof that ammonia builds up and your crab pools, as your crabs get in contact with the water, ammonia gets, um, it gets in there from also bacteria, the bacteria harbors in there, in the, in the pools, so really, it, it's very, very important, very, very crucial that you clean your hermit crabs pools, because, um, you don't want that ammonia building up, and it's, it can be very harmful to the crabs. And it was all it's also harmful to fish and but also you know in higher concentrations, very high concentrations it can even hurt us. So that's all we have there. So um I'm gonna conduct another experiment sampling tomorrow and the day after showing you that um showing you that if the ammonia levels build up anymore. So Hey everyone, so this is the second day of testing, so what I'm doing first is testing the freshwater pool, um, so here's a little bit of information about, um, good bacteria, um, good bacteria thrive in, um, in, in places where there's, like, a higher oxygen concentration so it's good that I have these bubbler pools because I'm maintaining the good bacteria but if there was no aeration meaning that that aeration means I'm um, oxygen saturated like you know the bubbles help with the oxygen saturation and if there was no oxygen then the good bacteria would not be thriving and then um, ammonia levels would go up and um, 
you know, bad bacteria can hide her in when, when there is no oxygen situation. So, this is my, this is my D2, um, this is my D2, um, measurement, well, the fresh water. See, it doesn't really, it, the level, the money levels are, the money levels, the money levels are still going up, but it's not going up as much because, um, What's helping out is the bubbles on the bubble pool that keep it aerated. If there was no bubbles in the pool, then your ammonia levels will, will go up pretty fast. So that that is why the um, the farm is going up. And um, I had the blue light yesterday, but then I changed it back color here. It tends to rise heat up a little bit more and lower humidity more. If I do really that's a good job. Alright, I'll be right back so I can so I can show you this hot water. And um, this hot water is so pretty much. It's still staying on the good side. Since it since the pools are being made by like the bubble. So it's pretty good to yeah, have like, that's alright, they have like, deep pools that are here. And so the money levels will stay down and it comes up also have fun with swimming and everything. So it, it, it's really good to have bubbles in your pool just to keep the airflow going. To, um, Yeah, all that good stuff. So my recommendation is that you can get pools like this. Um, these are um, Tupperware rolls. They're about this much deep. And that's it's all good, you know. 